Hey guys, this is not a sparring channel. This is a stingray channel, okay? <laughs> Alright guys, come on. I need to feed right here. You're scaring everybody. Look at the Bozmanis. Okay, they just see me already. And look at them. They are very, very hungry. So here we go. We're going to start dropping this food. And let me start. I usually like to spread out the food uh, because these guys are <clears throat> very aggressive feeders. So I'll drop handfuls on different areas of the tank so that they can spread out and uh, minimize that feeding aggression. Now I know I've mentioned in previous videos that the Bosmanis are aggressive, but they're not aggressive in the way that uh, people seem to think. I think uh, I might have um, missed, uh, misinformed people in that regard. They're aggressive during feeding, okay? And uh, they're such aggressive feeders that uh, they want to hog up the food. So what they do is they try to chase off everybody else just so that they can get the food. Oh, look at that. Cool. Okay. And the datnoid is enjoying the fish as well. But you can see everyone eating nicely. Now that the, you so you saw the initial response of how they all rushed towards us. And once I spread out the food and everyone's getting their food, they've kind of calmed down now and more or less focused on their feeding. But you'll see as the food starts to run low, they might start nipping at each other again because either they're still hungry and they, and they want more food, right? But right now, it looks good. See this guy, this big guy right here, she finished and she's uh, jumped on top of the other guy searching for more food. And so, see I had more food right there and then now she found her way to the extra food. But I'm going to throw one more handful in here because these guys are pretty big. See, so everyone's uh, feeding response is really good. I, I, you're gonna hear me say that term again and again throughout this video, because that's the key of this video, and that's the theme, feeding response, okay? That's the key of knowing whether your fish is healthy or not, okay? It's same thing like when we're sick and we, we have a fever or whatever, we don't feel like eating, our appetite goes down, well, the fish behave the same way. Okay, so that's the Bosmanis. I think I probably put at least like, oh my God, it's not two and a half pounds in there maybe three pounds okay so now we got some some grow outs right here and i'm just going to pick out the, some of the slightly smaller pieces and we're going to start dropping these guys in here i'm going to start with that and then see and then come now we're going to see it yes okay so everyone's eating good here as well now I expect them to eat a little bit slower because these pieces are a little bit on the big side for them, but they will manage to eat it all. It just takes them a little bit of time to process the bigger pieces of fish. But we will see, you guys will see, they will finish it off. All right. So now, let's come over this side. You see, look at this way. They're all huddled up because I was throwing food on the left side and they can smell it and they all came towards the divider, ready, waiting for their food. So I'm gonna start dropping the food right here. And I'm gonna space it out a little bit so that they're not all huddled on top of each other. This way everyone gets a chance to eat. If you just throw the food in one spot, the one guy on the bottom who's closest to it is gonna cover it all, and then they're not gonna get anything. Okay, so we got this one guy off to the side here, but watch, she's gonna smell it a little bit too late and she, when she comes over, there's gonna be nothing left, but that's okay, I got plenty of food here, and I'm gonna drop some for her. There we go, see, she turned around, now she's coming. Hopefully she can find this huddle of food right here. There we go. Yep, see? So at first, you know, she didn't come right away, but that's probably because she didn't smell it yet. But now we're all good, everyone got to eat. I'm going to throw a little bit more. Okay. And I think we're good. We'll just give them time to uh, finish up the food. Let's move on to another tank. There we go. See? Look at that. <laughs> They're hungry. They want the food. Once they see us come by with the tray, they know. Let's see. Yep. And then these guys will do the same thing a little bit like the Bosmani. They'll kind of like 
chase each other off a little bit to get to the food. But it shouldn't be a problem because there's plenty of food for everybody. This guy over there, he came late to the party. So I'm going to drop a couple more pieces. And let's see if he can get to it. Here it comes. See, I got to throw a little bit more for him just so that he can get some. And there he goes. Don't miss it. There we go. Boom. So, I mean, from experience, we learn how to throw the food so that we can spot feed them. It's a, it's a little bit of an art form because you got to uh, know the current of your tank and how the water's blowing and where to throw it so that by the time it hits the bottom of the tank, it, it, it lands where it needs to be. All right, let's move on. All right, you can stay right there. I'm just gonna toss the food. These guys eat really well too. Oops. Oh my gosh. Let's see, look at that, they're all coming. Very aggressive. Look at that, they're going nuts. Like a pack of wild dogs. Yeah, right? Throw one more hand Sorry. And I put it inside the water to see them eat. Yeah, we did the underwater on the other side already. Okay, so everyone looks good. They're going nuts with the food, so we're happy. Um, you know, what we got to be careful of is when they're eating good like this, it's very, very easy to overfeed. Okay, we just keep throwing food. Oh, sorry. And we think they're not full, but you know, they're, it's enough. So now, you can come over here, or these guys, they smelled it, and they're going nuts as well. So we're gonna drop some for them, spread it out so that they don't beat each other up. Okay. And then we got some baskets over there. I'm going to toss some into the baskets. There we go. Two points. Score. All right. Uh, let's come to over here. Since this is uh, connected and the air pumps are off, we got some really big guys down here. Um, you can't tell from the from the looking at the video, but these guys are almost 30 inches. and they can pound down a lot of food. Look at the guys in the cage. They're pushing the cage over. See that? Let me throw some in the cage. They're so hungry. So now these guys down here, they're coming out. Okay, did everyone get? Let me put one more handful for this guy right here. He came a little bit slow. Okay, okay, okay. What else do we got? Uh, well, over here it's hard to see because we got the pumps going. Um, I'll usually feed on this corner and they know to come. So I'm going to start dropping food right here. And then they're going to come over. There we go. There we go. Right there. See? Yeah. Okay, but I'm out of food, so I got to go get the next tray. I'll be right back while always you know, keeping an eye on them. Right back. Come back. And I think more guys are probably here, so let me throw more. See, this big one just came out. We need more food. There we go. That should be enough for everybody. More. So we've got our snow leopards over here and a couple of pie balls. <coughs> I start throwing it in the corner over there. This is the usual spot that I throw the food. All right, so there's some guys in the back over there that just came out, so I gotta throw some back there. All right, you know what, let's just move on. Okay, let me show you the guys right here, the albino bosmani. So there's the big girl right there. Watch her feeding response once I start throwing food in there. Okay. So these guys are eating, but she's under the cage, right? Let's see, once she smells it, she's gonna come out here and beat everybody up and take all the food. You can see the guys in the cage are going nuts because they smell it. 
All right, come on, girl. You're making me look bad. All right, let me throw some into the cage because these guys are wrecking the cage, shaking it all over the place. It's like the battle royale. Here she comes, here she comes. Look how fast she's coming. Boom. Like I said, she's just going to take over all the food. She's going to try to keep everybody away and then she's going to cover the whole corner right here of food. Boom, watch. Cover the whole thing. So, you guys wanted an update on her? Well, there she is. She's doing really good. She's eating much, much better than she was before. You can see it. Her feeding response is really good and she's going to come out and she's going to clean up everything. So now those guys are not, those other guys are not going to come over here anymore. They might try. Look, there's one right there. I'm going to sneak a piece. But she's going to finish everything else. All right. Okay, so look, those, those two are trying to work their way back over. But they already got their fill earlier on, so it should be good. All right, what is it? You want to throw one in? You can throw it right here. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, take it. Go ahead. Drop it right here in this corner. Yep. Mm -hmm. I drop a couple of more. I'm there we go. Okay. 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 Here she comes, boy. Look. Okay. Okay. Look. 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 See. But she is a big girl, and she can eat a lot. So we're gonna fatten her up. Uh huh. That's what you look like. So we got two more tanks over there. We didn't feed yet. Oh, well, let's come over here. Look at these guys, all right? They're all lined up. You s I just wanted to show you guys, okay? We lost that other fish, but these remaining ones are extremely healthy and there's no problems. Okay, so we're going to try to figure out what happened to that ray the other day. <laughs> Whether it was cross-contamination of some disease or just stress from getting bit you know, from um, mating aggression. But as you guys can see, they're eating very well with no issues at all. All right, now let's do this tank. These guys, if you guys remember what they are, they are the albino Bosmani hets. And they also eat very well. So they're all gonna start chowing down, look at that. Awesome. Okay, now they're not as aggressive as the other uh, Bosmanis on the other side where they were biting each other. These guys just seem to be more focused on getting their food, which is a good thing. All right, now we got these two guys in the cage right here. And they're ready and waiting. Let me cut across. You come to this side. See, they're waiting for it. They're going to destroy the cage. They rattle around and bang around and bite each other and fight each other. Look at that. See, they tear apart my cage. The zip ties break like every other week and I have to uh, fix them. But you see, this is it's very interesting. Yeah, and it's only during feeding time, folks. They only do this during feeding. Okay. So I think we got everyone covered in this room. Let's go over to the next room. Oh, no, there's one more tank right here. All right, I want you guys to see this, watch this. When I open these covers, okay, that's almost like their, uh, their trigger. When they see me open the cover, they all see they hold it to that side. As I keep opening each cover, look at that, they all come out. So now they're all waiting for me once I open the cover. So I'm gonna start dropping the food now. That's what I like to see, okay? I like to see them coming out. Because then already, before I even throw the food, I know they're gonna take it. All right. Give it a little bit more. So I'm running low here. I only have half a tray left and I still got the other room to feed. Uh, but I think I still have a little extra shrimp that I can feed as well. All right, give them a little bit more. I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, feeding video. All right, I don't do this too often, 
because it's like I run out of things to say, honestly. <laughs> but I, I know it's fun to watch the fish eat and feed. You know, I think that's one of the, the well, what's the word? That's one of the uh, joys of keeping fish, right? Is feeding them and watching them feed. Okay, I'm gonna put some down here. You can see. Look at that, all right, nice, okay. So if you guys are looking at that BD, that's a BD with the what we call the noodle pattern or a line pattern. <clears throat> so we should be uh, producing those fairly soon. Okay, and now we can come up here. Let me come over. I have a little feeding hole over here. You can see them all coming. There we go, look at that. So now I'm gonna drop a little bit more. So you know, in this situation, because the tank is narrow and long, I just put a few pieces in so that you get the scent into the water and it starts attracting everybody over to this corner and then I start putting more in. Okay, but I am running out of food. All right, there was one guy on that side in the back I didn't see yet. Let me come around and get him. All right, excuse me, sorry. I'm gonna get a couple of pieces right here. You see the guy in the back over here? We're gonna get to him because he's a little shy and slow. So I drop the food back here and then, bingo. Look at that, perfect. Okay, practice makes perfect. I was able to target him right on the head. Okay, so we got these guys here. These are the Galaxy Hybrids. Now this I don't like right now because they're all the way back there. They know it's feeding time. They see me, but they're not coming. But let me wave my hand with the food and let's see if they come. Okay, the guy in the front is inching along. Let me draw a little bit in here and see if the smell gets them over here. Okay, let's see if they come over here. Okay, here we go. Come on, come on, it's dinner time. If you don't want it, somebody else will eat it. There we go, look at that. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So I did do a water change uh, earlier, and that may be affecting their response. So look, let's, let's come over here. I'm gonna get these guys a little bit over here on top. Just a couple of pieces there. No, these fish aren't that big. So they don't need to be too much. There we go. Nice. Can't come over here. So it's just a, a little playfulness um, between the fish looking for the food. We throw two more pieces in there. Okay. Yeah, now this one's coming, but you're a little bit too slow, buddy. A little bit too slow, too slow, too slow. Let me drop some over here. Let's see if you can get it. Bingo! Right on the head again. All right. And then we got these guys down here. Let me just throw the remaining of them down here. It's not enough. I need to go get more food. In case you guys are wondering, so far, I've gone through 20 pounds of food already. Okay, and you can see, a lot of the fish are barely even full. Let me go get the other tray, I'll be right back. All right, so I've got this tray of shrimp right now. Let me just drop a whole handful of shrimp in here for them. All right. And this guy down here came out, so I'm gonna throw some over here as well. We are now in the last room, and these are just in the pup tanks. So I'm just gonna throw some food in the, the tanks that have slightly bigger fish in there. Come on, fella. All right, well, I don't have time. Oh, here he goes, here he goes. Are you coming? I'm gonna throw one closer to you. There we go. Okay, so he's got his food. Uh, we got some Bosmanis right here. Throw some right there in the front. A couple more. Okay. 
good. Now up here, we've got these pie balls. I think that's enough. I got another pie ball down here. These are uh, golden pearls, uh, golden pearl and golden pearl head. Uh, that one's actually a golden pie ball. All right, that's enough for them. Where else? Where else do we have slightly bigger fish? Um, down here, so look at this. Unique, unique Bozmani. I love this guy. Very special pattern. And doing very well, eating very well. Look at that, two of them. Oh, these guys are just battling it out for the food. All right. So definitely, I gotta make room. Oh, my goodness. All right, you know what? I'm gonna have to check underneath his mouth. I saw some black thing in there. I'm wondering if there's a stinger in his mouth. Okay, but that will be for another video, another day. Okay, up here. Let me pick out a slightly smaller pieces for these guys. These are albino hybrids, uh, albino pearl hybrids and albino black diamond hybrid right there. Okay, everyone's doing good. Everyone's doing good. Okay, we got one guy up here. This guy has been eating a little bit slow, so I'm just going to put two pieces and let's see how he does. There we go. Okay, he's taking it. Okay. I think maybe they don't, for some reason this this girl doesn't like the, the tail of the shrimp. Maybe it's poking her. See, she's playing with the food. It's just, she's just mouthing it. Let's see if she actually swallows it. Okay. Looks like she finished the one. And uh, down here, and this would be the last tank. I mean, we're good. I know always tired following me around here. So, guys, give her a big thumbs up for uh, helping us out. Without her, you guys wouldn't have this video because there's no way I can feed and film at the same time. All right, so come on. The full circle has been completed. The trays are empty. This extra strip, I'm just gonna scatter throughout the rest of these bigger tanks. Uh, probably, I'm almost sure I didn't feed them enough down here, so they need a little bit more. Okay. So we're done with the adults. We haven't done the babies yet, but I think always oh, gonna kill me if I continue this video feeding the babies. So maybe next time I'll feed the babies, but we do have all the food already, and uh, I'll just continue it for you guys next time, all right? So thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up, and uh, I'll do my best to put out more content for you guys, all right? Take care.